Hello, here we have a specimen of the urinary bladder that has been bisected. Uh, just orientating you and this is the fat and soft tissue around the bladder. Let's have a quick look at the bladder wall. We will focus on the layers of the wall. So this very obvious darker brown area is the muscularis propria and this layer is the mucosa and there is some adventitial fat. What we can see here is a very large fungating tumor mass that is protruding into the lumen of the bladder and actually almost occupying the entire lumen. And we want to focus on this area because uh, the presence of invasion into the bladder wall is an important prognostic factor. So taking a closer look, we can see that this is the brown muscularis propria of the bladder wall and this is the tan fleshy tumour and it is quite clear that this tumour is infiltrating at least into the muscularis propria. So this is an example of invasive carcinoma of the bladder and the most common histologic type is urothelial carcinoma or transitional cell carcinoma. So let's have a quick recap of carcinoma of the urinary tract and this applies to the renal pelvis all the way down to the bladder and urethra. It can be non-invasive or invasive. For non-invasive, we have papillary urothelial carcinoma, which can be low-grade, which has a significant risk of recurrence, but an overall low risk of progression to invasion. And there could be high-grade non-invasive papillary urothelial carcinoma. This has a higher risk of progression to invasive carcinoma. There is also carcinoma in situ, where the basement membrane of the bladder mucosa is not yet breached. Among the invasive tumours, the commonest histological type is urothelial carcinoma, and this may or may not have a papillary architecture. This is an example of a papillary architecture where you can see that uh, this is towards the lumen of the bladder. It's very papillary with these uh, fronds. And this pink area is the muscularis propria, so it's clear that this tumour is invading into the bladder wall. There are some risk factors here, smoking and exposure to industrial aerial amines. And other histologic types include squamous cell carcinoma, which may be associated with specific infections of the bladder, and also adeno-CA. Uh, with these risk factors, uh, uracal remnants or the presence of a background of extensive intestinal metaplasia. Going back to this specimen, usually the commonest clinical presentation is painless gross hematuria. Um, and indeed, if we actually examine the urine, we can sometimes pick up the cancer cells in the urine. Sometimes the patients may also present with other urinary symptoms such as urgency or dysuria. So to summarize, we have a large fungating tumor that is protruding into the bladder lumen that shows areas of invasion into the bladder wall. And this is an example of invasive carcinoma of the bladder. The commonest histologic type is invasive urothelial carcinoma.